I'm Derek Stone. Okay. I'm um, middle, middleweight pro Derek Stone. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> or dad to everyone in the gym. So I started Strongman in 2007. Been lifting since I was 14 years old or so. So I just got on the internet one day, decided, you know, Strongman was cool. Actually found that there was a federation for amateurs. Signed up, went to my first show, and now I've done 31 shows, I think, over the past few years. Refuge Barbo just we needed a place to train and we built it and the gym's kind of always been my safe haven So it's it's our refuge. So Refuge Barbo was the name. So <laughs> So tell me a little bit about uh, How this got started and like how you've been kind of coaching people and yeah Well, I did that I did my first show with no implement training no anything and then I decided if I was gonna make a go at this So I ordered a log and farmers and I kept them in a little 10 by 10 building I would drag them out in the yard and train and instead of my gym buddies, like, hey, it looks like fun, and they came and trained with me. And so we kind of gradually grew from there, and then I had people, I started hosting competitions six years ago. This would be our sixth year of the competition, and then a lot of people see that and get interested, and they come by, and I help, and I got a real good group of guys that help coach, too, so, like, anybody in this room could teach you how to do an event if you need to know. So we kind of, it's, it's a group effort. It really is. <laughs> My name is John Spitt. Um, I've been competing since 2012. I competed at Derek's competition, Refuge Barwell Strongman Classic. Uh, I've been lifting since I was about 14 years old, and uh, my buddy Daniel got me into the gym for the first time in the YMCA. I weighed about 190 pounds at the time, tried to bench press a 45 pound bar and just got stapled. Um, so, uh, you know, kept going with that. Then I went off to college, stopped lifting for a while. And I'd always been a fan of World's Strongest Man, watching that, loved anime growing up, you know, just anything where people are super strong. And, um, ballooned up to about 250 pounds while I wasn't lifting at college and uh, went to Costa Rica and was just running out of that breath, walking around, climbing hills, and came back. I was like, yeah, I gotta do something about this. So I started looking up competitions because I knew there was some amateur stuff with Strongman, but I didn't really know how widespread it was. Found out there was one 30 minutes from my house, and uh, that was Derek's competition. So I came up here and lifted with them for the first time ever, and uh, just kind of fell in love with it. Went to the competition and came in last on every single event, first time competing. In November of 2013, I was in a motorcycle accident. A uh, Chevy 1500 slammed on my side. My leg was amputated at the scene. They found it about an hour later. It was 45 feet up a tree, 30 yards away from me. Uh, 
In addition to that, I had an open fracture of my femur, five breaks on my pelvis, broke my left arm in several places, and so I've got arthritis from all that. Um, doctors said that you know people don't typically survive the traumatic amputations. So they said they've never seen anything with my pelvic trauma even make it to the helicopter. Uh, I asked them, I said, when can I start lifting again? They said, you're never gonna be able to lift again. I said, well, you know, let's come up with a better answer and we'll, we'll deal with that later. And uh, fast forward five months, and they said you can start lifting again. And uh, I went into the hospital weighing 225, pretty lean, and two months later I was 165. And uh, I got home from the hospital and I had a package waiting for me there from Derek. And I opened it up and there was a t-shirt that he had made, the Kentucky Strong shirt. And it was a 2X. I called him and I said, you know, this is way too big for me. He said, well, I did that on purpose. I said, what do you mean? He said, I expect you to grow back into it. And he invited me to come compete at this competition once I got back back into things. And, um, that year I knew that wasn't going to happen because you know I lost pretty much everything. I got back in the gym for the first time, benched 95 pounds for three, and it was the hardest bench press I've ever done. Uh, you know, so that was November 2013. Now I'm. Uh, I traveled to different disabled strongman competitions all, all over the world. Went to Iceland last year. I'm going to Britain next week. Um, I'll actually be the only American guest to Britain's strongest disabled man. Um, tell people the best thing I ever happened in my athletic career was losing my leg. You know, never made it out of Kentucky with regular strongmen. And now I'm one of the top disabled strongmen in the world. Coming out here on the weekends is just get get away from the regular life. Uh, you know, it's 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 in the name. It's a refuge, and uh, we come out here. We lift weights. We uh, cut up, and it's pretty much like another family out here. I mean, pretty much Rexy's barbell is my roots. Whenever it comes to anything that I need to ask questions or if I just feel like I don't have no motivation or inspiration, I always come here. I mean, this is a gym that uh, I started at. You know, it's just something, when you come back here, it's just a different intensity, you know, different concentration. I mean, when you come here, you know, it's business. And we have a lot of fun here, cut up, have a good time. But when it comes down to nitty gritty, we have we, we train hard and we, we show it by results and competitions. Hard as it is to believe, I've never been the most confident individual, and I think this has been really good for like my confidence and you know being good at something, being able to help other people be good at something. So. So we wanted to train here. 
you know, they're in the Kentucky area or stopping through, how would they? All they got to do is message me. I've never turned anybody away. So if anybody wants to come train, they just message me. The guys that are here all the time, chipping a little bit a month, just, you know, kind of keep the lights on and keep tacky in the jars. And if they, you know, if somebody can't afford it, I don't, I've never turned anybody away. It's, it's not a business to me. I love it. If I make a little money, I do. If I don't, I don't. I have a job, you know. So it's, I've never turned anybody away. We had three people here today for the first time. So. I mean, I get a lot of messages on Facebook, especially around this time of year when the competition's coming up. A lot of people will message me and be, hey, I'm interested in that competition. Look, we'll come by and try the stuff. So we get a lot of people that way.